Hey what's up guys, my name's Alone and welcome to another Zero to Hero episode. I actually tried in the last one to have a bit of a different setting on my mic and the sound didn't turn out that great. I have a different setting now on and if you guys think this is better then please let me know, I would greatly appreciate it. Also if you want to join my discord, the link to that is always at the top of the description. Let's start off the video. Excellent way to start off the video that segues perfectly into what I want to do in this video, which is actually quite a lot of clue scrolls. If I'm lucky, I can make a lot of money, and I'm probably going to do slayer slash bossing for the clue scrolls. But I have a master clue here, as well as a hard, medium, easy, and beginner. I'm going to do all of them if I can. And let's see what the item I need for this is going to be. Green man's ale M. I'm pretty sure I can already do that. Oh my goodness, that is so perfect. I need to get 80 agility and a full graceful set. I only missed the boots and my current level is 77 and I have been waiting for a reason to really really hardcore level this. So let's actually get 80 agility. It's going to be quite a grind like 10 hours or something. So I got my 40 marks. Let's buy the boots which is the last item I need. Got that and we now have the full graceful set. I'm pretty close to 78 agility, only 20k experience left. So I will go from 77 all the way to 80 on the Priftenas course now, so let's get grinding. I actually don't need to get 80 uh, agility. I actually thought that boosting agility didn't work for the courses like this, but look at this. I have 79 agility now. Can't climb up if I drink an agility potion. I can actually do it. I actually thought it was only for shortcuts, but uh, I guess it works. So I mean, we can maybe complete this step now. Should work. Let's see if it gets completed. Yes, it does. That is awesome. Got quite the step here on step number 6. Uh, I have to get 82 crafting at least and then with a boost I can boost to 87 and I can get the Dorgeshon Light Orb craft done. I am 65 right now but crafting is a very fast skill. So I'm actually going to attempt this. So uh, let's see how this goes. It's going to probably cost me like 10 mil. But uh, I need to get that up anyways for future clue scrolls. First bigger milestone I guess, 70 crafting achieved and I just have my experience here hidden because I don't want to get too focused on it, I just want to grind it out. And I can make crystal helmets now, I don't know if I'm ever going to do that but uh, nonetheless it is unlocked. Second big milestone, 80 crafting, only two more levels to go, I'm getting very close and look at all these I've done, I've done 7000 almost air battle staves, I've actually done more than that but that's the recent batch I bought, let's look at the history, I bought them for 93 mil and I had to sell some items to be able to buy that but I'm actually not losing that much money at all doing this, I just needed a big amount of money to be able to buy it and then I'll sell everything back and get most of it. And finally, we are going to hit that 82 crafting. It was definitely worth it. I am now quite a bit higher total level. I think almost 1900. Yeah, three levels off it. But let's see what the damage is now. I'm going to sell all of these. I got five battle staves over for some reason. So, for these battle staves, I spent how much? 82 plus 11 mil. So, 93 mil roughly. And they are going to sell for... Wow, if they sell for this uh, medium price, they actually did, so I only lost like 5 million on those, and then before that I also went made like 4k, so I guess I only lost like 8 mil, all the way from 65 to 82, that is very cheap. Decided to get one more level actually, so I got 83 because it was so cheap, so let's complete this step, now I can actually make this, actually I have to eat this pie first. Way easier boost than uh, doing the spicy stews, that's why I wanted to do it. And that should be the step completed. And that is the master clue completed. Now I only have to do the other ones and there's going to be no requirements for that. So uh, let's open a couple of clue scrolls. Doesn't this look juicy? I mean, I don't have an elite clue, but all the other ones I do have. So let's start with the beginner. There's nothing really too big you can get from this. So let's get that 300 GP reward. 316, that's pretty close. I'm actually just going to drop that, that is irrelevant. Let's go on with the easy one. Oh my goodness, 13.9k, I'll keep that, that's fine. Medium, now we actually have a chance to get something that might be worth something. 1 in 200 chance of getting ranger boots, I think. That is not ranger boots, but 100k is pretty good for a medium, I would say. I, I think that's pretty good. So now we're into the bigger ones, the hard and the master. 
Let's uh, start off with the hard one and get 37k. Wow, these are underwhelming so far, but uh, I guess that's to be expected. Now, I really hope this master can redeem it because so far we have made like, oh man, like 150k. Let's see if this can make up for it. It cannot. 400k. That is a very average clue opening. But let's get started with getting some new ones and maybe get some boss tasks from Slayer. First hard clue of the grind. Let's complete the task and then do the hard clue. Let's open the first hard clue of the Slayer grind. Let's see what we get from this one. 50k, that is not great. 163 total, by the way, at the moment. Second hard clue. That is very mediocre. Third time's the charm. Let's get something super nice from this one. Oh my god. <laughs> 40k. No elite drops just yet, but maybe we can get a master here. That would be really cool. No. Mostly harmless teleports. Wow, there's that's very cheap for uh, teleports. Oh my goodness, look at this guys, I was 100% sure I had no elite clue in the bank. And then I still thought like, how have I not gotten an elite in like, 4 months of doing PVMing? It, I, it, there has to be some reason for it. And I type in clue, and this is nothing here, this is how I found all my other clues, which ones I had. And then I typed elite. And I had a challenge scroll from an elite, so, uh, well, we do have an elite to complete. I had already done three steps, so I only had to do two more to complete it, and this guy right here gave me a good luck, so let's see what we get for the elite. 156k, I've actually only done six of them so far. I'm about to get a massive level right here in one more spell, I think, there we go, 99 magic. Been waiting for that a very long time because now I do not have to run to, uh, well, use the Narda teleport skull anymore and run to the pyramid to be able to put ancient magics on. Now I can just do it on my magic cape that I'm going to buy probably in the next clip. And here we go, let's get the magic cape. Good thing I can just buy it actually from the store here, so I don't actually have to go through any dialogue. And here you can change the spell book to any of the ones you want, so that is really nice. I think I have to do some quests for the Archaeos one, but uh, yeah, so nice that you can change to Standard, you can just click it again, Spellbook, you can go to Ancient, and it's that easy five times a day. This is really what happens when uh, people get free membership through the uh, Twitch Prime thing, I think it is, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, there's a lot of bots, unfortunately. Uh, I guess I'm going to report most of them. I've now collected 5 hard clues, so we're going to open these and uh, maybe we can get a master from this, that would be very nice, so let's get cracking. Okay, first one, 135k, second one, oh there is a master, perfect, 104k, I'm going to open the last 3 anyways even though I have a master. That is 176k, pretty good rewards uh, so far value wise. Thieving bag, that is a unique for the collection log, I've never got that before but it's not worth that much. And the last one is a unique that I have got before, 89k, and uh, let's actually equip this. It looks pretty good actually, but uh, let's see if we can actually manage to do the master. So first requirement I have to do for the master clue on step number 3 is I have to make a Barrow's tablet. And for that I do need the Archaeo spellbook, and I need 60 favor for that, which is very easy to get thanks to the books which gives 2.5 per 1, and they are very fast to collect, so this should be an easy step. Actually, to be able to make the tablets, you have to get a 100 favors, I went ahead and got that, but that is now the Barrow's tablet done and the master challenge completed. Second master of the video, let's open it up and see what we get. Ooh, that is a very standard, 323k, not as good as the last one, unfortunately. Actually a task where I can do some bossing, and as always I am very lucky at Criara, so let's see if I can be lucky again at Criara. It's actually not that great for clue scrolls, you can't get any hard clue scrolls from Criara, maybe from the minions, but not from the actual boss, but the elite drop rate is 1 in 250, so there is a small chance to get an elite at least. And that is the last kill of the entire task, and oh my goodness, we got an elite clue on that last kill, that is... <laughs> Wow, that's quite the timing, but uh, no other drops this time, 337kc in total, but yeah, let's go in this uh, elite clue. I actually only have one single unlock in the elite treasure trail tab, which is the 3rd age kite shield, which I got quite a long time ago, but other than that I have no uniques at all, so let's see if this is going to be a first one. 
Wait, what? Oh, I got a Mimic! That's actually the first time I've ever got that. That is going to be very interesting to try out. Okay, the Mimic was extremely easy. I mean, uh, I used some food, but uh, yeah, extremely easy. I just saw some kills on it on the uh, Twisted League when other people did it and it seemed a bit harder. But yeah, if you actually have good gear and good stats, it's very easy. So let's now get the Mimic chest, which I should be able to open now, I guess. And let's see what the loot's going to be. The extra loot is 600 death runes and that's 300k in total. If you don't know how it works by the way, the Mimic gives you one extra specific Mimic loot you could say. So you can see here 600 death runes and the chances of getting a third age is actually not extremely rare. And uh, that's why it's very nice when you do get a Mimic chance. Again, I've collected 5 hard caskets from doing Slayer, so let's see if we can get another Master. Let's open the first one. Oh my god, I think those are actually worth a lot. I think they're pretty rare. That's over 1 million from a hard clue. Very good start. So let's see what the next is going to be. Sardom and Crozier, 84k. Next one, 82k. 287k. What is this? Dragon Boots Ornament Kit. How much is that actually worth? I just want to examine it real quick. 38k, so I guess Morton teleports and maybe the page was the valuable things. Yeah, the teleports. Let's see the last one, maybe a master on this one. Unfortunately not, but yeah, 1 million for the Armadol Dehyde boots. How much are they? 968k, pretty good reward. Every like 10th task I do a Konar task and from that of course you can get some brimstone keys. I have 19 here, I'm quickly going to open them. If you're wondering by the way what I'm missing from my collection log, I've got only one dusk piece so far and two broken hastas. So I already have this one but in terms of dusk pieces I'm missing the head, chest, gloves and boots. And that's pretty much all of the uniques you can get from this. And of course the money is still pretty good. You should get around 2 million for this. So let's open all of them and see what we get. Last key and no unique so far. So let's see what the last one's going to be. Rubies. Let's see how much this is uh, worth in total now. It was pretty good I think. Yeah, 2 million almost exactly. And uh, I got a very good drop here. Look how much these are worth. 455k for one drop of these. Because you get 3 at a time. So that is probably the best thing you can get. Now that it's been three videos between me showing you guys the boss tabs, I'm going to quickly go over them and you can see that my Solra KC is now 770. My Grador KC is also greatly increased from I do believe around like 14 or something to 46. And then I have a 337 Kriara KC, that's the big increases on this tab. For the second tab, we do not have as much at all. We have mostly the Chambers of Seric kills I added, which is only like 4 or something. And then we have the 100 plus Venonatis KC. With that, I'm going to end the video. I do hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content, you can click any of the videos on the screen right now, or you can subscribe to be notified directly when I post a new video. Have a good one, guys. Take care.